uh, Councillor Simon Dudley and uh, Gert Singh, who's a candidate uh, from this area, I believe, as well. Um, I will allow Simon to actually explain. We've, uh, we've had talks over the last sort of year and a half, two years, with the Council. And just this morning, we've had uh, some papers through on email uh, to say that the, the Council uh, will give us preferential treatment or first denial on the site uh, next door. So uh, uh, allow Simon to say a few words. Thank you. So good, thank you. Uh, salam alaikum. Um, I, uh, I hope that was reasonably good. Um, I am Simon Dudley. I'm the leader of the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead. And I wanted to come along and talk to you because we've been discussing with Sagir and Arif as well how we can make sure that your community has the opportunity to expand uh, over the coming years. I think, as you know, there is a lot of work going on in Maidenhead, regeneration of Maidenhead. But what I, as the leader of the council, and people like Gurch, as hopefully a future uh, councillor, and the whole Conservative group, guarantee to you is that as the town develops, we will make sure you have the space to, do, to expand here for the education of your children and the important community worship facilities that you need. With the Ivy Leaf, the council owned the freehold of that site and we are negotiating with them for them to surrender their lease. We had thought that we might build apartments, flats on that site. We will never do that. That is my undertaking to you as the leader, the Conservative leader of the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead. We have sent an agreement over that when we have control of that site, we will allow the Islamic Trust to acquire that site so that you can expand here. And indeed, when the Magnet Leisure Centre you know, we're building a new one along Braywick Road. When that closes and we start to build um, new homes on here, we will make sure that they are set back from the mosque here, that they aren't overlooking it, that it is respectful of your place of worship. Um, so I am going to tell our partners, who are called Countryside, that I want them to redesign their plans to provide both the parking locally, which can be used by people who live there, but also your community as you come to worship, but also that the development there is respectful of the mosque. Now, the reason this is important to us is that your community is an essential part of the community of Maidenhead and the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead. So I'm proud to be the leader of a multicultural um, local authority, and I'm proud to be a Riverside councillor with so many of you as residents there. And I will always defend your religious beliefs and freedoms as long as I am the leader of the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead, because you are an essential part of our community and one which I hold in deep respect. So. These are my assurances to you, to your families, to your friends. You know, as your community grows, we will ensure that your facilities are able to grow as well. Um, because that's essential in the development of Maidenhead as a town in exactly the same way um, you know, the community at 22 Cookham Road. We made sure that they were able to buy that site uh, a number of years ago. I was instrumental in that. Um, that they got that site and now that is being redeveloped. So the same way that I was true to my word then, I will be true to my word that I, what I've just said to you, which is being filmed, So it's, uh, and that's absolutely fine by me. Uh, and you can hold me to account. So I wanted to thank you for your time. Um, I hope when we have our local government elections on the 2nd of May, you will vote Conservative, you will put your crosses yourselves and your families next to the tree, the Conservative tree, because it's that political party that is going to help you develop a stronger community here 
and the facilities that you and your loved ones need. So uh, hopefully that, you know, I, I just wanted to make sure you were aware of all of that. And um, thank you very much for giving me some time to say that. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to uh, thank Simon for very clearly putting the message out to you. And I hope you understand what he was trying to say uh, about 2nd of May as well. And uh, please make sure that don't waste your vote and utilize it in the right way. Thank you very much, Simon, again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you